Hi everyone, my name is Calvin and I am from Youth Matter Chicago and this is our vlog on bullying. So I believe it's fair to say that every one of us has gotten bullied in our life at least one time or another. Something I wanted to share with you all is my experience on bullying and that includes many things such as being Asian, being short, and the main one that I have always remembered is the way I walk. Bullying may have occurred to us during school, for example, in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, and it may even continue today in our lives. It might have been in a form of verbal abuse or even physical abuse where someone's willing to harm you or push you or even humiliate you in the hallway or in public or in front of all your friends and family. There may have been times where we just wish that the bully would really know the impact that their words and abuse had on us that may have lasted for a day, week, maybe a lifetime. To make a long story short, I've had a good amount of surgery on my leg and it affected the way I walk. And I just remember things like, you know, trying my best to walk normal like dumb, trying to walk just like dumb, or trying to even shift my body weight so I could walk in a way where it doesn't look funny to everyone. And to be very honest, it took quite a amount of time for me to really come to acceptance of what God blessed me with. There may have been times where I really questioned as to, you know what, why me? You know what, why, why, why not this person? Why not this person? Why was I the one to have to walk like this forever? So if you think about it, the sooner we are able to come to terms with our flaws and to really accept and love ourselves for who we are, that is when we'll feel a sense of peace. I might walk funny, but I'm still walking. I might not walk like everyone else, but I'm not trying to be like everyone else. In college, it became a different story because essentially everyone's starting to come to acceptance about who they are. I realized also that the more we mature, we become more empathetic toward one another. Rather than wanting to see someone fail, we become more encouraging. All we need is love. Because we cannot defeat darkness with darkness. We can only defeat darkness with light. And that light is the revolution of love. Because that's all we need. But the fact that they are a bully is more of a reason to pray that this person finds that divine happiness, that spiritual peace, and that the revolution of love blesses their heart. So with that being said, we really hope you enjoyed this vlog from Youth Matters here in Chicago. And remember, all we need is love and you matter.